But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear and let's have some good halal fun. Uh, today our topic is kind of a complicated topic. So if you are not mature, uh, please don't uh, stay with us. You have to be six years and older uh, in the age of Aisha. Uh, at the age of uh, six, she became the mother of the believers. At the age of six and one week, she became the grandmother of the believers. In the age of six uh, years and ten days, you know, she became the grandmother of Muhammad. So, uh, if you are not in that uh, good age, please don't stay here because the topic might be scary for you. We are going to talk about genie, <laughs> genie in the ball. <laughs> yeah, but this genie we are going to talk about is not in the ball. Actually, it's out of the ball, and the Muslims will take it out of the ball. And now we will hear some stories. So let us not to waste our time and let us hear some stories about the genie. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi uh, Sir, I have a big question. Actually, uh, uh... you notice here the Muslim actually have a bigger question. When a Muslim he say it's a bigger question, it must be so stupid, so silly, so dummy. It's a big question. Listen carefully. There's a huge difference between smaller question and bigger question. Because always size does matter. Assalamualaikum, sir. Uh, sir, I have a big <coughs> question. Actually, uh, uh, there is a problem in the house. Okay, in India, there is a problem going on in the. It's in India. There is a problem in the house. It's in India. Okay. Just take a note. We need to know the location, the problem, the house. All this information and the clinic guy the doctor Sheikh Asim he is drinking coffee or tea he is sucking camel urine he will solve the problem just wait how he can solve it so what is the big problem in the house in India the house, some uh, bad things are happening like evil things in the house uh, they are not letting the family stay in the house some like that so the genie brother, they are not letting the family stay in the house and they are doing evil things in the house. What shall we do? What we should we do? So, you know, like, you know, uh, there is things we can do and there's things we cannot do. The Sheikh, he will tell you what you can do. Call the Ghostbusters, there is no such thing. Okay. Read Surah Al-Baqarah in the house. That's it. It burns them. Read repeatedly. Yeah. The last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah specifically. Amen okay. al bima rabbi wal mu'minun. Okay. The last two verses of the uh -huh. Surah Al-Baqarah. The Prophet says, yeah. it prevents the jinn from entering your house for three days <laughs> and nights. Read repeatedly Ayat Al-Kursi. Chair, the chair and chapter. blow <laughs> round the house. <laughs> and this burns them alive. <laughs> and continue to do this. Hold on, you burn them alive and the genie are made from fire, by the way. Uh, some people they are not understanding genie are not ghost genies are not ghost christians they take muslim words and they try to put it in christianity 
Muslims do not believe that genie is a ghost and neither a demon. So don't go there. They are not demon. They are not ghost. Genie are creatures. They take bodies, but when they want, they can be invisible. It's a fiction, you know, a, a creature. Never exists. Nobody saw it. And uh, you will hear some crazy stories about it. So don't be confused about demon and genie or ghost and genie. Genie are different. Genie are creatures who they are not a spirit. They are made from fire. and They can do a lot of things and we will show you. So now we can burn them by reciting two verses from the Quran, you know. And uh, okay, tell us more. Of Surah Al Baqarah specifically, Amen al Rasul bima unzilihim rabbi wal mu'minun. The last two verses of the Surah Al Baqarah, the Prophet says, it prevents the jinn from entering your hearts for three days and nights. Read repeatedly Ayat al Kursi and blow round the house. You see where the spray is coming from? The spray, like you want to, why you read the chapter of the chair and then you, you know, you do this your mouth, like what will happen? It burned them. It burned them. See, if you read the chapter of the chair without with the, with, the, with your mouth, it doesn't burn. Sorry, I'm, I'm just letting you. Know. You know, there's like a technical uh, issue. You have to follow the the manual. So you read the chapter of the chair. You know, like I sit in the chair, I dance in the chair, I eat in the chair. Then you do uh, blow your mouth. It burns them. <laughs> The last two verses of the Surah Al-Baqarah, the Prophet says, it prevents the jinn from entering your hearts for three days and nights. Mm -hmm. Read, repeat. The, uh, if any Muslim can tell us why three days, three nights, I mean, what, what, oh, I mean, why the Quran is weak? They will come back. Three days, three nights, like what, the Quran will expire. You know, what does that mean? Three days, three nights only? Not four days, not four weeks? Not, you know, that's okay. Repeatedly, Ayat al-Kursi. Uh-huh. And blow round the house. Now, if you see a Muslim doing that in his house, now you know what he's doing, all right? So don't be like uh, worried what he is doing. He is, uh, he's burning the genie. And this burns them alive. Mm. And continue to do this repeatedly. No, no, stop. With full conviction. Full conviction. Huh? That Allah is their Lord. Uh huh. Is there a Lord, you know? Allah is their Lord. Don't worry about them. Allah is stronger than them, uh -huh. and Allah will make them go out. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Okay. But now, the Mr. Go out, Allah will make them go out. He is the same person who will tell us about having sex with the genie. A brother says, can jinn commit intimacy with a woman when the husband does not say the prior dua? Can a jinn make her pregnant? Can the jinn have intimacy? This is from the unseen. Uh, and we have no evidence from the Quran or from the Sunnah that backs it up. Uh, there is a quote that Imam Mujahid says, this is possible, but this is not from the Quran or the... Just to show you that this guy is a donkey, he do not know his religion. He said he's not from the Quran. Isn't it the Quran promised the Muslim version who know human, neither genie F them and make them lose their virginity skin? I mean, this this guy is a shake. There's no evidence. There's no evidence, you know. Yeah, just to grow a beard. It's a great business, you know. Call me, call me, potato, so we can laugh at you. You claim to be a shake. Hmm. What a potato you are. <clears throat> Oh, sorry, hold on. Let me type the wrong word. Yeah. Chapter 55, verse number 74, it says, Allah, he promised the Muslim men that in heaven, they will have virgins who no human being, neither a genie did have intercourse with them. Neither a human being or a genie have intercourse with them. But we heard this idiot saying that there's no evidence from the Quran. So is Allah promising false promise? And we can show you tons of stories of uh, of uh, genies having sex with Muslims. You know, 
uh, actually there's a hadith about Muhammad he says uh, uh, don't if the genie you know don't if the genie uh, like if something else all right uh, if we go uh, this is a Muslim website and this is the title marriage between a human and jinn Assalamu alaikum. You know, I like it when the Muslim like as, 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 you know, like like he is grabbing your the, the ass of the sheikh from somewhere. Assalamu alaikum. Hold on. As, as, and they have to squeeze it. So the topic is marriage between uh, uh, human and jinn. And listen, we are talking about marriage. Marriage, marriage. You know, you know what marriage means. Do you like to marry me? I love you, honey. You are so cute, genie. Mm, they can't come to you. <laughs> so, Assalamu Alaikum, Ustad. It must be from Indonesia because in Indonesia they call them Ustad. Uh, and uh, is marriage between a human and jinn such a marriage per per permissible? Look at the question. Is it permissible? You know? Now, I'm not expecting the, the Sheikh to say to him, Get lost, you idiot. What kind of a question is that? No, he will confirm. So basically, we have to acknowledge the existence of jinn in the world. Uh, we have to acknowledge. I mean, come on, they exist. It's a fact. Hence, we have also to acknowledge that it made of matter that it cannot change from into several form. <laughs> Hold on. Sometime I feel my phone is a genie. He starts acting up. Unbelievable. Now I know what's going on. And then, uh, uh, this is the name of the book, etc. It says, uh, speak about jinn. Ibn Manzur said, uh, is the name of the jinn because it's covered and prevented from a view of our, our, our sight. So because, because we cannot see it, that's why it's called a jinn. Oh, okay. Uh, the prophet, he says, indeed he sees you and his tribe. But you cannot see them okay you know hmm. uh, Sheikh Tahir blah 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 he says and let us go to the conclusion now the jinn bears the same responsibility as a human do yeah they bear the same responsibility they go to work uh, they vote for Joe Biden some they don't like Trump some they like Trump uh, some they like falafel, some like, you know, anything. In fact, no, the genies, according to Muhammad, uh, they, uh, if you remember when Muhammad, he asked uh, his uh, companion for something to clean his bum, his, his ass, when he did poo-poo, the guy, he bring him bones. So the, Muhammad, he said to him, don't use this. Those are the food of the genie. And Allah, he made meat on them, but we cannot see it. There's a meat there. You know, we see bones, but there is, uh, there is meat, which is uh, true, you know? Uh, like, it's amazing that, you know, we don't see the meat uh, of the, uh, on the bones. Like, you know, you see like a dead, uh, whatever, any dead animal or like a bone, you know? Or you just uh, throw a bone, you know? And then uh, what Allah, he do, he make the genie, he, he make the bones, uh, uh, covered by meat again and the genie will eat them you know will eat the meat okay uh, let us see uh, let us see if we can find the hadith hold on give me a second genie in the bar <clears throat> okay. Let us see. All right. Here we will see a unique hadith, uh, and I will show you something very authentic, so the Muslim cannot say uh, this is not authentic. Uh, 
All right. He went along with us and showed us there like uh, we will go back to this story later to see the whole story but now we will see something about the food you know this is what we are we are quoting this hadith for now uh, they asked him Muhammad about let us zoom in so you guys can read it better most of you are not young like me be sorry for you I hope your eyes is helping you. If you are not eating carrot, it's time to eat carrot. Uh, ask him, the holy, uh, the holy prophet, he's holy, yeah, he's God, about their provision, and he said, every bone on which the name of Allah is recited is their your provision. The time it will fall to your hand, it would be covered with the flesh and the dunk of the camel is the fooder for your animals. That is true. However, we have Yasser Qadi. He has some experience with genie eating. Where is Yasser Qadi? I hope I did not lose him. Okay, here we go. This is Yasser Qadi, brother. He will tell you a true story about what happened when he was eating and he have a brother, he was doing something weird. And one of our brothers drops accidentally, you know, it's like everybody eats from a common plate. So one of our brothers just drops a morsel. It just drops from his hand uh -huh. and he leaves it there and he goes in for round two. Instantaneously, I saw from my corner of my eye, the brother just darted like a snake. You could imagine a snake with his left hand, grabbed that morsel, gobbled it down in a very unnatural manner. Unbelievable. How so? Why so? What's happening? What did our Prophet say? What's happening? Hadith is in Sahih Bukhari. No way. When a morsel drops from one of you, pick it up. Wipe away any dust and eat it and do not leave it for shaitan. <laughs> Muhammad, you have a solution. So you drop a piece of food on the floor. And now God knows how much germs and viruses in it. Muhammad, he claimed, and this Abdul, he claimed, that his brother was a grabbing it with the left hand and he eat it. Why, brother? Why with the left hand, brother? Because shaitan, brother, he eat with your left hand. When you eat with your left hand, he eat with you. So this Abdul, when he was using his left hand, he doing it in purpose. So shaitan will eat with him. And when he drop it down in the ground, he do it that so he can bring shaitan. Hey, shaitan, can we have food, man? Come here. Yeah, eat with me. So look, brother, immediately, I'm going to play the story for you because this is, this is something unique. All of the way, all of those are facts, you know. He saw it. I mean, he saw it with his own eyes, not with his own anus. Please, you know, put, put the fact into your consideration. And one of our brothers drops accidentally, you know, it's like everybody eats from a common plate. So one of our brothers just drops a morsel. It just drops from his hand. And he leaves it there and he goes in for round two. Instantaneously, I saw from my corner of my eye, the brother just darted like a snake. You could imagine a snake with his left hand, grabbed that morsel and gobbled it down in a very unnatural manner. Man. How so? The guy next to him, he said, Ajib, Ajib, which means like, wonder, wonder. Amazing, Ajib. Muslims, you know, like, it's a true story. But, Ajib. Why so? What's happening? What did our Prophet say? Hadith is in Sahih Bukhari. When a morsel drops from one of you, pick it up, wipe away any dust, and eat it, and do not leave it for shaitan. See, brother, 
See what you do when you drop the food in the floor? <sighs> the genie he eat with you. And look at his face. I mean, look at this face. I want to know how in the world those stupid people, they gave him a visa to come to this country. Those stupid government of America. Those people are you give them visa to those are the people and they and they give him a job in university too. Yes, brother. Now listen carefully. The genies are three kinds. Three kinds. Some they fly with the wind. Some they are snakes and scorpion. And some, they, you know, uh, act like a human, you know, like they dress and they come and they have sex with your wife and etc. And this is today actually why I'm here. And there is some actually, I mean, most of them they say three, but there is additional. They say some of them, they are even the black dogs. The black dogs are the genie, shaitan. Actually, if you remember the hadith where Muhammad, he said, Where is the hadith? Hold on. When Muhammad, he said that uh, three things will defile your prayer, a Muslim prayer. Uh, one of them uh, is the, the black dog, women, and uh, a donkey and the black dog. They asked the prophet, why the black dog? He said he is a genie, he is a devil. The devil here is the genie, shaitan. Shaitan and genie is the same. However, Muslims believe that there is some genie they converted to Islam. And those are the best of the genies. And those are coming from Iraq. They are genie from Iraq. They are Assyrian, like uh, Sam Shamu. <laughs> I hope Sam Shamu would not shoot me for saying that. <laughs> Hey, Sam Shamu, now we know why you shave your head. <laughs> we got you. Anyway, so listen carefully. <clears throat> uh, the three things will disturb your prayer. And Muhammad, he focus in a, a, not just a dog, a black dog. A black dog. Why? Because genie, they love to use any creature he is a black human or animal this is why Muhammad he said that the most enemy of Allah is someone is a black man he's not talking really about a black man he is talking about a black shaitan who is a black man this is why Muhammad he says that the black, black stone used to be white like milk but the sin of mankind make it black. So sin make you black. Not committing sin make you white, according to Muhammad. Many people do not understand. You might say, okay, why the Muslims even kiss in the black stone if they are against the black color? What you don't understand, that the black stone supposedly is not a black stone. It's a stone who suck your sin. So when you go, it was white uh, and whiter than milk. And then the sin, each time a man he kiss it, or a woman, that black stone will take your sin, will suck it, and the sin will move to the stone, and that make the stone black. All right? Uh, there is, let us show you some hadith. Reported from Allah, uh, the false God messenger, saying, The black stone descended from paradise whiter than milk, but the sin of the descendant of Adam made it black. 
you know, anyone who have a little brain, you know, you need to to make a reason for like uh, for in the story. What is the what is the reason? The reason is sin. Reason for what? For the black color. Many people they read, but they don't really notice how how racist this story is. So, the stone itself is not black. This stone is going to get rid of its sin because now it's have a duty to suck the Muslim sin, and one day in the day of judgment is going to have eyes, is going to have a mouth, is going to have a tongue, and we mentioned those hadith, you know, before, and is going to witness for the Muslims. How is it going to witness when the Muslim come and kiss the black stone or the vagina? that vagina is going to suck all the sin of the Muslim and will store all the memory of his sin inside it. So in the day of judgment, the black stone is going to witness for the Muslims and will have a mouth and a tongue. Uh, let us show you the hadith. Okay, we are typing in Arabic. I'm looking for the height in English, but why are you typing in Arabic? Okay, black stone. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. So this is the Muslim website. We will show you. I will give you the link too, so you can read it. I have the story in Arabic, but better we read it in English and without me translating. It's proven regarding the virtue of the black stone that it's touching it. Touching it, uh, it is an ex exception uh, 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 for sin. You know, ex exception for exception for sin. Sorry, I'm, I'm reading it wrong. And that on the day of resurrection, it will testify for those who touch it. With due respect, it was narrated from a term of the Hayat number 961. Who uh, claimed uh, as Hassan, which means good hadith, so the Muslim they can't say is Daif, that Allah, peace be upon him, uh, Allah uh, uh, said, uh, concerning the black stone by Allah, Muhammad talking, will raise it in the day of resurrection with two eyes and with with uh, uh, which will uh, like what those eyes will see and tongue which is going to speak and would testify for those who touch it with due respect so when you touch it you have to touch it in a certain manner and like you love to kiss it and this is why the black stone is going to take your sin and it will defend you in the day of judgment you say god this is a good guy he kissed me when he kissed me he licked me when he licked me he made me uh, hot when he made me hot uh, you know i took his sin uh, and i you should forgive him you know yeah so obviously islam is full of fictions and stupidity but the black color have to do always with sin and the black stone become a stone which sucks sin but it's originally a, a, a white stone it's not a black stone and the sin of mankind made it black, as we showed you. Let, let us go with you the hadith, uh, the link, so you can save it in your reference in case you are a person who like to educate yourself and you don't want to be a potato. All right. Now we go back uh, to our stories. More stories to come. We are not done. We want to continue going back to speak about the genies. We 
going back to having sex with the genie and the the the, uh, the sheikh here is saying that some scholars they say it's possible but there's no reference in the quran we got him busted with that because the quran say clearly we will give you women who have no man had touched them uh, or if them or genie so if the genie will not if women so why allah will say no genie if them so actually the quran confirmed that muslim women they do have sex with genies and he's not from the companions to give that verdict of his or opinion of his any um verification or any strength can a jinn make her pregnant the answer is definitely not this is totally uh not possible they are let us get him busted again the, guys just to show you that those muslim who claim i did not watch this video before i just searched but before i go live i did not watch it i actually i was expecting him to say yes and i'm surprised he was saying no uh, this guy is an idiot. He said no. In fact, Muhammad he claimed that the uh, the homosexual are the childrens of a female Muslim who had sex with male genie shaitan. Let us see if we can't find the hate in English. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> you know, those, those uh, they claim to be sheikhs, but you know, the truth is they have no idea what they are talking about. Uh, obviously very dummy, they, don't, they have no idea. Uh, let's see. And again, trying to find the hate in English. Oh boy. <clears throat> Let us see. Um, actually, we, we saw this hadith before in English, but I'm trying to find it. Okay. Let us see this website here. The question here is about uh, can Jin have sex with my wife? When a man has intercourse with his wife and does not name Allah, the jinn calls around his uh, your uh, uh, orta and has intercourse along with him and this is a hadith and this is authentic this say that in the the sheikh asim he said there's no sunni there's no hadith there's no quran say so but as you see this is all over in the hadith and in the quran and this is in the book of at -Turmudi. he said and this is in the tabari all the reference look all those reference and this stupid idiot, he claimed that there is no proof of such a thing. 
So shaitan him uh, uh, genie, he uh, uh, in one hand they say he can be a dog, black dog. In one hand they say he can be invisible. In one hand they say he can go through walls. In the other hand, suddenly he is a physical thing, but we cannot see. And now he is like a candom around your penis. So when you have sex with the female or the male, if you are a Muslim, then shaitan, he will round himself around your penis and he will be having intercourse with your wife. All of this will happen. Why? Because you did not say the name of Allah. And this is actually a verse from the Quran where the Quran speak that shaitan, he will share with them uh, their children's shaitan will share with them their or their offspring. How Muhammad explained that? How they, how he will share the offspring? You know, of the uh, 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 the Quran that he will coil himself around the penis and he will be really the one is doing the women. So when this when when the child is born, he is not really the son of his father. He is a son of intercourse between shaitan and uh, uh, and the human. Uh, and here we see more more reference, as you see. Uh, let us see what is speaking about the, the homosexual. Uh, I will see if I can find it here. Actually, we saw the hadith just a few days ago. Let us try again in a different place. Do you see how much fiction this stupid religion is full of? They claim that they are religion. I mean, who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? So now you do not know even if your wife is your wife, if you are a Muslim. Because it's possible, you know, uh, uh, how many Muslims they have sex with their wives uh, without saying the name of Allah? And isn't it funny now you are going to have sex and you want to say Allah? I mean, the women here, excuse my language, the women here, her panty is off. The man, his penis is ready. And now I have to say a prayer to Allah. And now if I don't say the prayer, the, the shaitan, he will do, uh, you know, he will do something. And your son will be homosexual. Let us see. I hope you guys you are saving reference so you can learn. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, let's go. Maybe I think I'm not sure really, but I think maybe maybe we can find it in the chapter two in the Quran, the interpretation. So let us go there. And see in English. Uh, as you notice, Muhammad and they have every interpretation, uh, explanation for everything. You know, they have all kind of answer. You know, there is nothing, nothing really left. All right. Uh, so let us see Ibn Abbas if we can find in English. Let us see, let us see. Yeah, in English it doesn't say that. I don't see it very serious. Huh? Yeah, in Arabic, you see, the English one. The English one, it doesn't say what it says in Arabic. Let us go to the Arabic then. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it, not find it in English. Uh, let us see here.
<clears throat> Where is a reference? You know what? Let us open the same one, but in Arabic. Because in Arabic, I think we can find it. Ibn Abbas in Arabic. Uh, where is Ibn Abbas? Let us see Ibn Kathir, actually. Let us see Ibn Kathir. Where is Ibn Abbas? Ibn Abbas. I mean, list, endless list in Arabic. Uh, give me a second here. This is English. Uh, I need to find it in an easier way. <clears throat> yeah, always there is a faster way to find things. <laughs> Look what I found. <laughs> okay, uh, I found the Muslim website. I'm searching for the hadith. All right, I'm searching for the hadith. And now the Muslim will prove to us that those are the children of the genie. Okay, how, brother? What happened? I will translate for you into English. All right, look, I mean, obviously, they are brother. Look at them, those are Muslims who they are homosexual, brother, and they are the children of the genie. Okay, all right, here is the hadith. Let us translate uh, translation, translate to English. Hmm. By the way, this is uh, proving to be uh, true scientifically and there's a lot of evidence about it and the prophet of allah and islam knows best al-hafiz ibn jarir narrated from the authority of ibn abbas that a man abused his wife while she was menstruating the jinn produce uh, him to her the translation is not really uh, coming uh, accurate uh, in arabic it says he, he did not abuse, he did F his wife when she was having her menstruation. So the shaitan, he took advantage of that and he did, did it, you know, he did sex with his wife, with him, you know, because now it should not do that. So shaitan, he did with him during the menstruation. Uh, and then, uh, uh, because the, the, you know, the act he did during the menstruation, uh, the babies they were born as uh, homosexual. Where is the hold on? Where is the translation? Uh, yeah, the translation is lost. Where is the translation? It should be here, it says, and the children, they become homosexual. Here. Yeah, I'm looking. Maybe Google is filtering those words, you know, do you think so? Maybe in purpose, those uh, walk, uh, stupid walk of Google, because look, here it says, Mukhannath wal Mukhannathun, Awladu Jinn. The homosexual, the feminine, they are the children of genie. Uh, let us use Google Translation because in Go we will use the same Google Translation, but like for one sentence. For some reason, it's not coming. Google Translate. So I will copy here. Uh, I will copy a little part, not all of it. Just the statement. 
and we paste here and we get the translation ah, see here it says Muhannathun. Muhannath. Muhannath simply is a feminine homosexual so Ibn Abbas said a man he abused his wife while she was while she was uh, in, in, in mistreating the jinn did if his wife not produced he if his wife with him so she become a bright knight uh, from him from who from the shaitan and uh, she gave birth to a muhannath which means a homosexual born to her a female children are the offspring of the jinn and god forbid okay so the, the, the muhammadan they have a uh, they have a phobia of everything you know i feel sorry for anyone is a muslim because now you don't even if your son is your son and not only this actually there is many things proving that muhammad muslim he cannot even know if his son is his son even forget about the genie even if a muhammadan he find out that his wife she is sleeping with the neighbor even if the court they find out that he was sleeping with a neighbor even if he find out that he cannot have kids and he have 10 kids from this woman but he cannot make kids still he is the father why because muhammad he come with a very weird stupid religion as an example here not limited just to show you how stupid muhammad is so if you marry a muslim woman i feel sorry for you because simply uh Muhammad he messed it up. Uh, let's see. If you go to to uh, if you are uh, away, if you are working, let us say in different country for five years, you did not see your wife for all those five years, and then you came back, you find your wife, she have five kids. You cannot even ask her how come. For Muhammad, he made a rule, it says, the child is for the bed and is stoning for the adulterer. What does that mean? Whoever owned the bed, the child belonged to him. So the husband is the one who owned the bed. The husband is the one who owned the bed. So if a wife of, of Muhammadan, she had sex with, with his neighbor and he knew about it and he found out about it and he knew. He went even, he did the DNA test. He found that those are not his kids. According to Islam, still they are his kids. So look what happened now. Your neighbor, excuse my language, he screwed you, screwed your wife, and now he will screw you and take your money because his kids is the one to inherit you. <laughs> are you with me? <laughs> are you with me, guys? So your neighbor, any neighbor, if your wife, she is a whore, he sleep with your wife, he make her have some babies, and then he can even tell you those are his, my kids. You cannot, you cannot forbid them from inheriting you. For they are your children legally. Muhammad, he made it clear. Whoever owned the bed, he owned the child. You see, even it says that the woman she is she is a daughter. Still, the the bed is what make decision. Who owned the bed? Muhammad. He says Muhammad uh, hijab. He say me. Okay, Muhammad, you are the father. But this is not my son. This is Ali Dawa's son. It doesn't matter. Now going back to the to the to the genie, the, the Muslim stories is beyond the stupidity. Uh, Muhammad, as an example, he says. Ali reported that Allah Messenger saying, the covering between the eyes in, of the jinn and the private part of the children of Adam, when one of them enter the, uh, the, pre, the privy, you enter the bathroom, right? So, so what can cover the eye of a genie? And what can cover your private part? What does that mean? Cover the eye of the genie and cover the private part of the human being? By saying what? Allah. So you say, Allah, you enter the bathroom, your penis cannot be seen. By whom? You say, Allah, you enter the bathroom, your anus cannot be seen. By whom? And here it says, 
It covered the eyes. Eyes of who? The eyes of the jinn. What does that mean? We will find the solution for this. Are you ready? And look at the Muslims are in the chat asking me, is Jesus, is God? They don't want to talk about this, uh, this hilarious Muhammad. You know, they are trying to change the topic. Ashamed of the stupidity of Muhammad. Is Jesus, is God? Brother, is Jesus, is God? Is he God? <laughs> well, is your God, is God? Look at your God, you idiot. I mean, this is God will tell you those stories. Genie sleeping with your wife. The genie, he slept even with the wife of Suleiman. Just wait. You see the stupid shaitan. He said he never heard of this. Isn't it the genie shaitan? He slept with the wives of Suleiman. He effed them all. Not only one, not only two. To the point, the wives of Suleiman, the, the way they notice that this is cannot be Suleiman because he effed so good. He never stop. He never take a break. He don't give it to the bathroom. By the way, Muslim, they say shaitan. They say, Allah, don't go to the bathroom. Do shaitan go to the bathroom to, to pee? No, you don't. Prove it. So look here. Uh, the hadith we mentioned to you that when you say the name of Allah, it covers the eyes of the jinn, which means shaitan, and it cover and it cover your private part. That that only. Can we explain in this following video? We will show you. Give me a minute. I'm looking for it. <sighs> what a stupid religion. What do you expect from shaitan? So what shaitan he do to Muslims usually? You give the adhan. The shaitan, he not only runs, but the hadith says, lahu durat. You know what durat is? No. Durat is... Oh, okay. He runs, and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Oh. Subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. So now we find that Muslims, they fought when they are praying. Shaitan, he fought when he heard the prayer. There is a connection between Allah, prayer, farting. Everybody is farting. Muslim farting, Shaitan farting. Okay, now Shaitan, he fought because he just heard the prayer. La akbar, la akbar. <laughs> no, don't stop. They are here. By the way, this is true. Now, so Shaitan, he fought. And why? Because a Muslim, he is called for the Adhan. That will get us close to the topic and to understand the situation. Listen carefully. So now, okay, uh, Sheikh, can you? I mean, I like it when you fart with your hands, man. I mean, Muslim, they can fart in any way, not necessarily from their anus, even from the hand. But the hadith says, Lahu durat. You mm. know, what durat is durat is. <laughs> He runs, and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Lahu durat. I'm not making this hadith. You see? He's not making it up. Don't laugh. This is hadith. The prophet says so. The prophet who want to tell you the truth about Jesus, and the truth about Moses, and the truth about Abraham. He knows all the truth. And this is one of the truth. Shaitan fart. The prophet said, I mean, why people don't believe? I don't know. Let us show you. I want uh, actually. I want the rest of the video. This video here is a short for some reason. Somebody posted very short. It did not continue the the rest. Where is the rest? Hold on. Shaitan he fought. Shaitan he fought. 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 Okay, okay. Let us see here, maybe. Don't. Maybe here we can find something better. Obviously, this is always a lie. Allah, you know, Allah, forgive me. And then I'm going to say, you know what? Get the shaitan back again. Let me open the Quran. Let me read some Quran. Hey, man, that shaitan probably kicking his legs on the ground by now.
Yeah. Then get up and do the adhan or something. Then shaitan will, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll be honest. You know, hadith of Timmidhi says, it says, yeah, when you give the adhan, the shaitan, he not only runs, but the hadith says, lahu durat. You know what durat is? Durat is. That's nice. Let's go to the part number two. Each time Muslims pray shaitan. So how come shaitan? Serious gas. Serious gas. He wants he a shaitan. You're gonna make him. You're gonna make him leak some serious gas. Yeah. Serious gas. You know the only one who can make shaitan have a serious leak in his anus is Muslims. They will make him have serious leak of gas. He won't be coming near you for some time. Now don't feel bad about you know you're human being end of the day. Serious brothers, sisters, you know, you're human being end of the day. If he knocked you down once, you knock him down three times. And listen to the ahadith like you first up, you know what the deen is about. The deen is about getting the shaitan away from you. So you know you're going to the toilet, you know, Bismillah Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khabais. So Allah protect me from these devils. You you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. The dua you listen That's carefully. When you enter the bathroom, you have to enter with your left foot, which means there is a danger is going to, uh, to happen to you if you enter with the right foot. Let me play this again, just to show you the madness of Muhammad and his followers. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. Right the dua you said, shaitan will not see you. You're uh. in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't, it's in the hadith. Remember, so if you if you enter with the right, with the left foot, and you say the prayer, you will become invisible for shaitan. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it really amazing? I will make a, a very serious comment about this after we listen to all of this again. As so anyway, this is what Muhammad meant when he said that saying the prayer is a cover for the eyes of genie and the protection for the penis and the vagina of Muslims. Uh, I will call you why you don't answer Abdul uh, my Skype is not open but I will open my Skype for you just only all right this Abdul is so excited he want to call me what we can do customers come first <laughs> what's your name in Skype Um, I don't see anyone take, uh, call me in Skype, you idiot. All this drama for what? My Skype is in the info of the video. Oh, you did call you or you don't answer. You did not call me. You are a potato. Liar. Oh, I forgot. Your name is Allah. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of somebody, his name is Allah, he can make a Skype call? Do your God even know how to do anything? Nobody texts me. There is only a person whose name is Jane from Switzerland. That's it. Nobody else. And he is obviously Christian. You're a potato. Call me, call me. You said you are calling me. Yes, Jesus is God in the Old Testament and I will show it to you from your Quran. Call me, potato. Yeah, he is God in the Old Testament. Isn't it your stupid prophet, you idiot? Just to show you the stupid Mohammedan. Isn't it your stupid prophet says that the Jews, they believe in someone, he is the son of Allah? So are you saying to me that your stupid prophet, he was saying something is not exist in the book of the Jews? Hmm? What about we ask new now, where we can find in the book of the Jews that the Jews, they worship a man, he is the son of Allah. And now what he will do, he will do pee, -pee and poo, poo in his pant. He will not dare to call. He will not dare to answer. He will change the topic. Remember, you are the one who said, can we find that Jesus is the son of God in the Old Testament, right? No problem. Can we find where the Jews worship a man? He is the son of Allah in the Old Testament. Is that your stupid Quran? I can prove it very easy.
Very easy. Why you don't call me? Do you there? Will take me not even a minute. Just call me. I will give you first my reference, and then you read for me this. I gave you the question before you call me, so you can get ready. Hmm? Let us see. No, I'm not yet. <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? So those are people, they are stupid. They don't have religion. They don't understand that other people believe. They fabricate stories, as you see. The Jews, they worship a guy, his name is Ezra, and he is the son of Allah. While the Jews never believe in Allah anyway. You will not find the word Allah in their book, period. And you will not find one person, his name is Ezra, ever was worshipped by the Jews. Not a single time. Never. Muhammad did not know the name of Abraham father, so he called him Azar. Azar suddenly become the father of Abraham, but Azar is a word mean foolish. So the stupid Muhammad, he was carrying from the, from the Aramaic people a story that, and this we can find actually in the Talmud, that his father, uh, he told Abraham, uh, guard, guard those uh, uh, idols until I come back. And then when the father came back, he found that all the idols are broken except one, the big one. This is the exact same story you find in the fairy story, fairy story stories of the book of the Jews. Muhammad, he put it exactly in the Quran. This is how stupid this man is. Abdul, where are you? I thought you, you thought you wanna, you wanna call me. I open my sky for you, potato. So what his intention is, is to try to make us not to talk about the big thing about the genie. What is the big thing? That Muhammad was rode by the jinn. You see, the Muslim, they start making videos about everything except the story of 10 black men riding Muhammad like a donkey all night. And Muhammad, he claimed that those are genie. Read with me the story. This is Sahih, authentic hadith. So the jinn not only they ride Muslim women and they F them, as we showed you, and those are the children are the Mukhannathun, which means the, the, the homosexual according, according to the intelligence of the Muslims. Muhammad himself was effed by the genies. How we can prove it? Read with me. Muhammad was with his companion and his companion Ibn Mas'ud Question, he said, uh, do you know where is the messenger of Allah? Huh? And in which night this story happened? In the night of the jinn. The night of the jinn. There's a night in the history of Islam, it's called the night of the jinn. There's a chapter in the Quran named because of this night. The chapter of the genie. So Muhammad disappeared. And Muhammad, when he disappeared, all night, nobody knows where he's gone. And then when he came back, according to this story here, and we will show you the other story, that he met a bunch of genie. They are coming from Iraq, from the Assyria. Specifically from the same town of Abraham.
and he recite Quran for them and they converted to Islam. But the story have other side, which is not mentioned here. Let us see. Uh, where is the hadith? All right. This is uh, Musnad Abdullah ibn Masoud. I was trying to find it in English, but it's okay. And this is Hadith number. Three six five six, as you see. Three six five six. I will use Google Translation, and actually, I will post the link for you too. Uh, but I need to shorten it first. I don't know if it's going to go through without shortening it, but no, I think no. Okay. <clears throat> All of you can open this website and be sure to open it in Google browser. All right. Open it in Google browser. And so you can uh, switch. Actually, if you are using your phone, it's going to open automatically in Google browser if you have a Google phone uh, or Android. So Muhammad was going with his friends and then something happened. He saw a bunch of black guys. It says here, uh, while he is walking, he saw a group of men which means like they are the, the, the African, the very black African. And they have no clothing on them. But I did not see their private parts, but they have no clothing. But why he did not see their private part? Because they are so black. Remember, it's night, right? It's night time and they are black, totally very dark. They are naked, they are wearing nothing, and they are so tall, and they are thin. So they start riding Muhammad, and then they keep doing that, until he cannot walk no more. And Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he claimed that he was witnessing there. He said, Qala Abdullah, or to minhum, I you know I was really terrified. He was watching, and the prophet, at the end of the night, he was not even able to 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 walk. He was in pain. 
Here it says, وَجَاءَ ثُمَّ أَنَّ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ جَاءَ ثَقِيلًا وَجِعًا So he came back and he was very heavy in his movement and he is in pain. And he was like that because of the how long they did rode him. They rode the man. Let us use Google Translation. Shall we? The translation is not coming right. You know, a zot is a black, so it doesn't show here. But anyway, you will see that they have no clothes on. He could not see their private parts. They are naked, but because they are black and it's night, he could not see their penises. They ride the messenger of Allah. They ride him. And then they continue riding him all night to the point when he came back and Ibn Mas'ud, he was terrified of them. When he came back, he came, look, it says, so then the messenger of Allah, uh, Allah pray on him, he came uh, with heavy pain, heavy and in pain, like he cannot walk, or it was almost pain from what they rode. They were riding Muhammad all night. So look now what we discover about the genies creatures. They eat shit. They eat bones, Allah covered by, 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 by meat. They have sex with Muslim women. They make you eat with the left hand. They play with your anus if you don't say the name of Allah, and they go inside your anus. They sleep in your nose. They jump in your mouth. And they pee in your ears. And they round themselves around your penis. A Muslim woman, she found a fire in her pubic area. The husband, actually, he found the fire in her pubic area. The sheikh, he told him this is because she is having sex with a genie. All of this in one so-called religion of the truth. Religion of the truth. This is religion of the truth. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? My Skype is open. If there is any Muslim, he have the courage and the knowledge to call us. If you remember the Sheikh, he said, if you say the chapter of the chair and you make, you burn them. So how come Muhammad could not burn them? They are a bunch of tall men, heavy duty, black men, African. Muhammad, he claimed that they are genie. What is the proof that they are genie? What is confirmed that he is being rode like a donkey or like a whatever. I don't, you know, I don't know what they are doing to him. How they rode him, by the way? How you can ride a man? You, you Muslim, can you tell me? How a man, he can ride a man. And why they rode him all night. And why Muhammad was so much in pain. Exactly what happened. And why Muhammad don't just sit in the ground and don't hear your road. What they would do to him. They were beating him. They were raping him. What, what happened? Sit in the ground. Don't do anything. Why you don't recite the Quran and they will run away or they will stop? Any Muhammadan? Do we have any Muhammadan here?
In the same time, we find that Shaitan, he is the God of Muhammad. How? We, how we can prove it very easy? Muhammad, he said, that there is a Shaitan, he command him not, but to do good. And he became a Muslim. Shaitan commanding Muhammad. Who is commanding Muhammad? Shaitan. Read it. And the funny is, what makes Islam more hilarious, if you go and read the chapter name, look, it says here, he command me not, but for good. Who? The shaitan. The devil. Read the chapter. Chapter of mischief of shaitan. And how he sent his troops to tempt people. And with every person, there is a, 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 a qareen, qareen, which means like a, a, a copy, like, you know, a, like a, a, a bodyguard, like he is a, a, a company all the time. He don't leave you, but just to make you do bad, you know. So the shaitan who is the companion of Muhammad, his mischievement was he command Muhammad to do good. How many times we prove that shaitan is a Muslim? It's in front of you. He is a Muslim and he command Muhammad to do good. So what is the good command of shaitan? Who is a Muslim can tell me. What is the good command of shaitan? Is that why Muhammad have sex with the children? Because Muhammad, he believed this is a good command. Is that why Muhammad, he went to his own son, wife, and he have sex with her and he flirt with her and he slept with her when the husband was away? Is that why Muhammad says, go attack the Romans so we can get the blondie girls? Is that the good command of shaitan? Is that why Muhammad, he have unlimited number of wives, but Muslim, they can have only four? Huh? You did not answer my question. I go, get lost, Allah. Allah will go as if you come. You never came to go. You are a stupid Allah. If you are, if you are exist, Allah, call me. Go, I just block you. If you all exist, Allah, at least make a call to me. Call me. I mean, you stupid, you call yourself Allah. If you ask Muhammad on what Allah means, they do not know. What Jibreel means, they don't know. Abraham, they don't know. What Isa means, they don't know. Okay. What Mikael means, they don't know. Okay. What Israel means, they don't know. So what do you know? For this is a religion of a very trashy, low-class man, even the Muslim, they call him illiterate. And it's true. He is illiterate with his stupidity. He know nothing. He fabricates stories. Mary, she is the sister of Aaron, but Aaron is the brother of Moses. And Moses and Aaron, they are the sons of Amran. But, and, and Amran is the father of Mary. You see, when a Jewish man, he came to Muhammad, he said to him, stupid Muhammad, listen, there is a huge difference, many years between Mary and uh, Aaron. How you say she is the sister of Aaron? Uh, Aisha, she was alone at home. She told, she told him, you are a liar. You are a liar. Not true. When her husband came, now Muhammad, he noticed that he was a dummy. So he tried to fix it. He said, oh, they used to call them by their like great ancestors. But she is, Aaron is not even the great. And he is not even from the ancestor of Mary. Same time, he's not from the, the same tribe. And Moses is not even from the same tribe of Mary. In the same time, the stupid Muhammad, he copied the name of the father of Moses and he made him the father of Mary. Why? Because he thought that Mary and, Mo and, and Moses, they are brothers and sisters. So according to the smart Muhammad, the idiot who lived for some time between the Jews and now he thinks he have knowledge, he said to himself, ah, now I know who is uh, Mary. She is the daughter of Amran. Hmm. Look, brother. Allah, he chosen from all mankind, the children of Noah. And here you see the stupidity. Here you see the stupidity. Allah, he chosen Adam from all mankind.
You see, you know, the, the stupidity is beyond the stupidity. How he is the only first man and he was a chosen between mankind because in Arabic it says a stuffa. Stuffa mean elect. Stuffa does not mean chosen, by the way. He's elect. Like, you know, you elect only when there's many of them. Imagine we have election, but there's only one guy. Do you see the stupidity of this book? So, Adam was the elect. Noah was the elect. <laughs> How you elected Adam? And then he says, and the family of Ibrahim and the family of Amran. Okay, hold on. That's it. So who is uh, Saleh? This is the Prophet Saleh. Any Muslim can tell me? Who is the Prophet Al-Khudr? Who is the Qurnayn? You Muslim, you claim that Allah, he sent 124,000 Prophet. It turned to be, they have to be from those family. They have to be either from the children of Abraham and here actually you see the stupidity. I mean, if he chose in the, the, uh, the, the children of Abraham, well, isn't it Amran included anyway? <laughs> isn't it Amran? By the way, it's not even Amran. The stupid Muhammad, he called it like long. It is Amram, not, not Amran, Amram. Amram, Amram. Stupid Muhammad, somebody go and teach him. So Amram, he made it Amran. But how the family of Amran are chosen if, like, specifically, but all the family of Abraham are chosen? Which means the children of Abraham, they are chosen. That means Amran and whoever else, they are chosen too. Do we have any Muhammadan here from the family of Amran? Genie, you know, genie in the bowl, genie sleep with your wife, genie have, have sleep in your nose, genie, you know. Okay, if, if we go to my, even my intro, the one I play for you always, what the Sheikh he say? He say exactly what we are saying. Shaitan, he sleep in your nose. You remember? Huh. Tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified. <laughs> and our nostrils. Those Satan or the devil sleeps. Satan or the devil. Satan. We'll see. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time. Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified. <laughs> this is a religion. And then you will see a person saying reaction to the Quran. You know, those fool scammers who don't want to make, a, a, you, know, a, a, you know, you know, those trashy low class people who want to make money. They knew that the Muslim, they will swarm your channel if you do those things. If you open your mouth, reaction to the Quran. What about your action to the Quran? See how stupid you are. Hmm? Reaction to the Quran, brother. Well, I have a lot of reaction for the Quran. Don't you? Me, myself, I have a lot of reaction for the Quran. Who don't? Hmm? Let us hear what this guy, he want to say more about having sex with the with the genie and after fornicating or committing adultery she's pregnant she says well a jinn impregnated her this is not acceptable now the dua is bismillah allahumma jannibna shaytan wa jannib shaytan ma razaqtana that a man says before being intimate with 
his wife. So this is the most authentic opinion and Allah Azzawajal knows best. <laughs> Allah, Allah knows best. <laughs> you give the answer. Yeah, okay, but why I need to say that? So shaitan, what, what does that do? I'm having sex with my wife. Why you don't tell them that your prophet, he says he's going to go around your penis and he will round himself and he will hold your penis and he will be the one doing your wife. Why Muslim don't dare to say, look, look, brother, look. Look at this video, brother. Your wife, she is asleep. How does the jinn have intercourse with women at night? Your beautiful wife, Fatima, she is sleeping in the bed. And her ass is pointing to the genie. What a possession, brother. And you know, I want to ask this Muslim lady, don't you know that shaitan, he liked those possession? I mean, are you serious? Why in the world you sleep in such a possession? Are you trying to tempt shaitan? Don't you think that she is like trying to do something? She knew, she knew that the genie is there. She knew that the genie, they will come and do boom, boom. And then what did she do? She sleep like that. Unbelievable. Unacceptable. Uh, you only talk to Muslims? Yeah, only I talk to Muslims. Sometimes if we say Christians can call, the Christians don't call. We say only Muslims, the Christians want to call us. Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? Hmm? And before we forget, let us go to uh, Liri Dawa. Liri Dawa, he have a story for you. What is the story? What is the story of Liri Dawa? I lost it. Oh, I found the. Uh, we will go to the Dawa later. Let us see Mufti Mink. <clears throat> Mufti Mink, you have some advices for you people. I hope you will take it seriously. Sometimes the jinn can actually affect a person or a family as a result of it coming into the home through a pet that was a carrier. Now, that's a little bit complicated, but really? to simplify it, all you need to do is. Just watch at the beginning of the time when you brought the pet into the home. Yeah. Within the first week or two. Okay. What's happening in your house? What's happening? Is there something that's just happened where people are getting sick or ill? I spoke about the allergies. Some if somebody gets sick, there is a genie at home. So why you Muslim go to the to the hospital? Read Quran. Isn't it the, the you kick the genie? Uh, by reading Quran, you read two verses from the chapter of Al-Baqarah, and you do uh, 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 you read in the ch chapter of the chair, and then you burn the ch you burn the shaitan. Why you go to a doctor, take vaccine, take, you know, just uh, you know. So, brother, if somebody when you when you bet, bring a bet, like bring a dog or cat, genie, they can be inside them. They like animals. And now every stupid Abdul, he see a cat, or oh, there's a genie maybe inside the cat, especially if it's a black cat. Black dog, he must be a genie. Yeah, brother, we need to watch and observe when you bring a bed to your house. There's something that's just happened where people are getting sick or ill. I spoke about the allergies. Uh -huh. Sometimes it brings about a lot of discord, hatred, you know, mistrust. Um, the wife fighting with the husband. Where you been until now? I was with my friends. I told you don't leave me alone. I told you 1,000 times. I like to spend some time with my friends. Why they are fighting? Because there is a genie and he is inside the cat. <coughs> the genie in the house. He will start. Look at the face. Look at the face of Mufti Mink. Look, sad. Sad. You know, he feel for you. You're fighting with your wife now? Or this happened because you brought a pet to your home? And there's inside the bed, there's a genie in the bar? 
and he make you hate each other? So you don't like her ass no more? And she don't like his stupid face his no more because it looked like her ass? What the heck? How you do that yourself? All those things explained by Prophet Muhammad. He knows all the mystery stuff, theology, biology, uh, embryology, any, any, uh, uh, you know, any elegy, you know, he know it. What's happening in your house? Is there something that's just happened where people are getting sick or ill? I spoke about the allergies. Sometimes it brings about a lot of discord, hatred, you know, mistrust, um, discord in a way that was never known before this animal came into the home. In that particular case, you may want to consider getting rid of the cat, getting rid of the pet. I've known of... <sighs> Brother and sisters, it happened to me. I'm telling you. Many of you, how many of you here have a cat? How many of you have a cat? Give me, give me one if you have a cat. Hmm? Did you ask yourself sometime why cat, they have certain way to look at you? Look at this as an example. Did you really ask yourself why? Why in the world she is doing that? Do you think this was like for nothing? Don't you use your brain? Don't you suspect something fishy? Is that a normal look? Let us be honest here. You are smarter. You look at the cat and there is no way that this is a normal cat. Oh, hold on. You bring a cat, the can't she have a genie? Okay. I just uh, uh, remember something, brother. Cat, genie, cat make the wife and the husband fight. I don't know where I saw this movie before. Where I found this movie before? Oh. Now we know where we found it before. Now we understand how the cat of David Wood was walking in the Quran. Because she have a genie inside it. He did not use a normal cat. He used a genie cat. This cat is very suspicious to me from the first day. Are you kidding me? So he brought us a cat and look what she is wearing, gloves. I mean, still people did not notice. She's wearing even like sunglasses or whatever is that, like, you know? I mean, don't, are you blind people, are you? Nobody noticed that this cat cannot be a good cat. This is a cat which have a genie inside it. And why the cat here is so, what the heck is that? So now we know what happened in the story with Muslims. Now you can refute David Wood about the cat story. With Grammarly Go. You can get him busted with no mercy. I'm telling you. You know? All what you need to do, contact him and tell him this is a genie. This is not even a cat. The cat inside the, you know, the genie inside the cat, he was doing that. Very clear. A cat will not walk on the Quran, and they're presenting this as evidence for Islam. Evidence that proves that the Quran is the word of God. And look, 
Uh, and look, the Muslim they they play music. You know, the Muslim they play music. You know, like, and look, this guy he like, wow, bad brother. No way! Look at this. This guy is stop him. Stop him. Stop. No, please. No, hold on. Hold on. We need to zoom in. I want to know now who is the one have a genie inside him, the Muslims or the cat? Hey, Abdul, you watched this video 10 times before, 20 times before, and now in, in a, when you are recording, you open your mouth. Why? You just saw it first time? I mean, you, those people, they don't even know. Like, I mean, how silly, how stupid, like reaction to the cat. And then the guy, he opened his mouth. Uh, you know, what the heck? Hey, Mr. Alligator, how is Mr. How is Mrs. Gator doing? What a scam. Whoa! What the heck? And this guy, like, the other guy, wow! No way! Yes, brother, yes. Look at this guy. Look, look, I mean, this is the true story. Look at his eyes. Look at his mouth is open. Even his hair is going up. Look, brother. Because this is something not easy to see. Like, what the heck? He could not believe it. I could not believe it too. Brother. Look at this guy. Man. I cannot take it no more. The cat is not walking in the Quran. Are you kidding me? And then we find that Mufti Mink is telling us that the cat, she have a genie inside her. What the heck with this religion? Who believe? We believe not. We don't believe who. The cat in the... Look at this. Look, even this cat, she have a CIA. And uh, look at this one. Oh boy, that's suspicious. If you see this, this is one billion percent. There, she have a genie. I mean, you must be stupid if you don't notice that. There is no way any of you can explain to me why the cat is wearing those glasses unless she is suspicious. And I know, I know the Christian, they say to you, uh, this is the honor he put it for. No, this is not the honor. I know the cat personally. I know the cat. Her name is Mimi Hijab. What's wrong with people? Isn't it obvious that, you know, I mean, that's amazing, so beautiful. Look at them. Look at the hair. The guy, his head is coming up and his mouth. And man, just to make people watch this video, video, they would do anything for the sake of a click. Anything. I mean, women are getting naked in front of the camera to get a click. So you can imagine how corrupt a human being is. Anyway, <clears throat> here you notice something about the video of uh, David Wood. Do you see, I froze the scenery here because I want to show you something most of you did not notice. The cat now is looking at who? Anybody can tell me? Look, David is busy with something. The cat is looking where? Think with me, director. Director. Because cat, they don't have a strong memory like dogs. You know, dogs, you tell them, like this is why, like I remember there's a guy, he have a dog. They, they said he went to the moon and then his dog followed him. This is a true story. He is very loyal. He keep going, keep going, keep going until he stopped finally in the moon, uh, you know, and uh, he found his, uh, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, you know, you know the thing. Yeah. So those things are better. They are true story. Uh, but now we find that the cat have a genie and Mufti Mink warn you about having a cat. But there is a guy, he is a companion of Muhammad, his name, the father of the cats. He is what? The father of the cats. Yes, brother. 
Brother, help us more with your knowledge. I don't know what we can do without Muhammad and his knowledge. Look, we know everything now. There is not a single problem in the world. We cannot fix it by the knowledge of Prophet Muhammad. They look like they are on drugs, literally. I spoke about the allergies. Sometimes it brings about a lot of discord, hatred, you know, mistrust, um, discord in a way that was never known before this animal came into the home. In that particular case, you may want to consider getting rid of the cat, getting right. rid of the pet. I've known of people who can't walk. You know, just be careful. If you come to America, the Democrat will arrest you. Are you saying, are you saying get rid of the cat? Did, you, did we hear you saying that? Those woke culture, they will make a story of it. What do you mean get rid of the cat? Are you talking about Nancy Belusi? Which cat you are talking about? We have many cats. We have Joe Biden. We have Nancy Belusi. We have the Democratic Party. I mean, even their flag is a donkey. Do you think, you know what? You just remind me of something. As long as those genie-like animals, the Republican, they have elephant. The Democrat, they have a donkey. Oh boy. Now we know why we have a messed up country here. Both, both parties, they are using animals. Inside them, there is a genie. One having an animal is, is the elephant. You know? By the way, I heard that every every Hindu come to America, he joined the Republican Party. I asked them why. They said the elephant. Makes sense. You know? Yeah. Every, every, every Muslim come to America, he joined the Democratic Party. I said them why. They said the first one who converted to Islam is a donkey. I said, it's true. The first animal converted to Islam was a donkey. His name is Yafur. Brother, your face is in pain because you are showing us the truth and you are sharing with us something very special. Sometimes it brings about a lot of discord, hatred, you know, mistrust, um, discord in a way that was never known before this animal came into the home. What about before your neighbor move, maybe? Like your neighbor maybe is handsome, you are not, you know. I mean, why are you playing the cat? I mean, there's a million, there's a billion reasons your wife, she don't like you no more. The cat is the problem now. I mean, are you Muslims? Are you out of your, I mean, but I cannot say out of your mind. Do you even have a mind? So now we, I'm, I'm going to fix my house. And what is the problem between me and my wife? It is the cat, brother. Maybe the husband is bad. Maybe the wife is a cheating. Maybe the husband is a cheating. Maybe the husband is uh, uh, abusive. The, no, the cat. We have to read, get rid of uh, uh, Mufti Mink. Aren't you the one who made the video before is speaking about black magic and how Allah he sent to angel to open a school so the wife and the husband will fight Harut wa Marut brother and sisters Mufti Mink is blaming the cat instead of blaming Allah the Quran says that Allah he sent two angels one his name is Harut and the other one his name is uh, uh, is Marut and by the way this is uh, coming from the legions of the Armenian Harut and Marut Muhammad he take any story he put in his book so Allah he sent in the Babylon like why why in the Babylon he Muhammad and why somebody can tell me why Allah he sent the angels in the tower by the river of Babylon where we sat down, angels came down from Allah the clown, and they start teaching magic, and they open Hori Buttar school, and you must be really a fool to believe in any Abdul. So now Allah He sent two angels in the Babylon, 
Tawar and the angels, their name is Harut and Marut. You see, we Muslims, they have names. They don't say that two angels came down. They have their names. They have their ID. They have their height. They have even their ages. Everything, everything. Islam, Islam, it's a genius. So Harut and Marut, but then when you open the school of Harry Potter, they make everyone sign a disclaimer before he joined the school. Look what it says. But neither of those taught anyone such a thing, which means black magic, without saying, disclaimer, disclaimer, we are only a trial. Don't so, don't bless them. To see the disclaimer, you sign the disclaimer before you join the school. Very organized school, brother. Harry Potter. So now you enter the classroom. And Harut and Marut, they will start teaching you what exactly, what the black magic will teach me. Read carefully with me. They learned from them the means so discord between the man and the wife. What the heck? And Mufti Mink is blaming the cat. What's wrong with the Abdul? Why we don't share the truth, brother? It is Harut and Marut. Harut, Marut, open a school in Beirut. Sorry, sometimes it's hard to breathe. Harut and Marut, brother, they teach the wife and the husband to fight. That is getting so complicated. Very complicated. We have to be careful, brother. I mean, life is not easy, obviously. How many of us is aware of the danger of Allah's school? It turned to be the magic is coming from Allah and Allah is the devil himself and he is the one who opened a school to make people teach magic and what the purpose to do evil and then we find that even Muhammad himself was under black magic but remember the Quran mentioned that the black magic only to make the wife and the husband fight but things get more complicated. Brothers and sisters, there was a time when someone had blown into the knots that they had made of the blessed hair of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam on a comb. Hold on, hold on. What a blessed hair. They took it from his anus. How somebody blow knots on the hair of Muhammad? The hair of Muhammad is with who? With Muhammad. How this Jewish guy, he got the hair of Muhammad? Any Muslim can tell us? Listen carefully. A Jewish guy, he blow knots. He make knots from the hair of the Prophet, from his anus. And he... 12 knots, he made them, and it took Allah 12 months to open the 12 knots. That will drive you, that is not a story. Allah is so fast, took him 12 months to open the 12 knots. That is not a story. So brother and sister, today will teach you how a person, he blows, uh, you know, uh, in the hair of the prophet. And what happened, what happened? Sisters, there was a time when someone had blown into the knots that they had made of the blessed hair of Rasulullah. The blessed hair? Did I hear you correctly? What is that? Is 
the blast hair hey Muslims are you serious you're a prophet Muhammad his hair is a blast don't you think that this is too much not worshiping Muhammad you Muslim you don't worship Muhammad don't you the blessed hair of the Prophet Muhammad? Blessed hair, Prophet Muhammad. Blessed hair, Prophet Muhammad. Blessed hair, his hair. What the heck? The blessed hair of a Prophet Muhammad. Blessed hair of the Prophet Muhammad. Blessed hair of Prophet Muhammad. Blast in the hair of a prophet Muhammad, blast in the hair of prophet Muhammad, blast hair of prophet Muhammad. The blast hair of a prophet Muhammad. If it is a blast, then how you can do black magic to it? And if Muhammad himself is a blast, how the guy can do black magic to somebody is a blast? Look like the blessing of Allah is not working. No? sound like it okay tell us more about the blessed hair. you know mufti make what about you make just a like long video about the blessed hair of a prophet muhammad please you know because we want to learn i cannot wait really to learn about the blessed you know what i want to make a book about it the blessed hair of the prophet especially when you find it in your dish You will throw it and you will vomit as you wish. My guitar is broken. I don't know. I think somebody is using the hair of the prophet in my guitar. What's wrong? Sound weird, you know. So tell us more about the blessed hair of a prophet Muhammad. Please, anyone in the comment, please show respect to the blessed hair of the prophet Muhammad. You people are crazy. I mean, look at you. And if you are Sam Shamoon watching our video, for God's sake, don't love Sam Shamoon. I mean, come on, you don't have a blessed hair at all. <laughs> Now we knew that why Sam Shamoon is not a prophet. <laughs> Allah did not bless him with a hair. <laughs> oh boy, I'm going to end it. Blast her prophet Muhammad, blast her hair of prophet Muhammad, blast her. Man, that's so good. Tell us more, tell us more. That they had made of the blessed hair of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on a comb, trying to <coughs> engage in what is known. In what? In a comb? This Jewish guy, he got to the Prophet Muhammad house and he got a comb. And why Muhammad is using a comb? Is he a girl? I thought this is a warrior. He don't uh, comb his hair. He, the Prophet, he was putting eyeliner three times a day. He comb his hair and the thing is full of his hair. So the Jewish guy, he took the comb. Look how greedy he is. He must, by the way, Mufti Ming, don't you think the guy, because he's a Jew, he is not really interested in the prophet here. He is interested in the comb. What do you think? It's just an idea. He would take it and say it in Jerusalem. I don't know. Just think about it. That they had made of the blessed hair of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on a comb, <coughs> trying to engage in what is known as magic against the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Remember, nothing harms you except by the will, permission, and knowledge of Allah. Oof, 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 oof. So a second ago, we were blaming the cat, blaming the genie, blaming everybody, and it turned to be, it's Allah. Do you see the drama? A second ago, it was the cat, it was the evil genie, the, and now he's in the black magic, and now he's saying, remember, remember, brother, remember, brother, 
Nothing can harm you, brother, except by the will of Allah. So what is the drama for? That means Allah, he wanted this to happen. What's the problem? Why even you Muslim want to fight it as long as this is the will of Allah? What's wrong with this religion? Why their logic is awkward like their prophet? If Allah, he want that, and he just said, remember, remember, nothing can happen to you except by the permission of Allah. That's me, Shaitan, and Mr. Allah. They have an agreement. Okay, go and do it. You know, I give you permission. So what the problem? Why you complain? So the evil, real evil is Allah. And now we ask ourselves, you remember this guy, he is the one who speak about destiny. So that means if, if, if this guy, he stole the camp of Muhammad, that was a destiny. And he just agreed that Allah is the one. Nothing can happen to you except by permission of Allah. Remember, nothing harms you except by the will, permission, and knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So nothing can ever happen to you except if Allah has willed it, if Allah has written it, and if Allah knows about it, and he will know about it. Amazing. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, one might ask, why wow. did Allah allow this to happen to him when he was the most loved unto Allah? Well, oh. and now he, no, listen, he cannot explain it unless he sing it. You know, like why in this happen? Why? In huh? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you were to follow him and him wholly and him alone, you would need nothing else. So, so if we were to follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's sunnah and his way every morning and evening, we would be seeking the protection of Allah from you stupid you you stupid you stupid you stupid you stupid you donkey so you just said if we follow Muhammad we will seek we will have a protection from black magic but yet you are saying to us that Muhammad himself he have a black magic so the guy will follow him by following him we are protected from black magic but the guy himself he could not protect himself People, are you, are you, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand the stupidity? It's like going to the doctor because he can protect you from the, from the virus, but the doctor himself is sick. Are you with me? If we follow the prophet, we are protected from the black magic. But the whole video is about Muhammad. His blessed hair is used. You know, somebody stole the camp and now he's controlling Muhammad by the hair, remote control in the old days, you know? That's why you have the, you know, like, by the way, if you are getting married, you know, don't let your wife touch your hair or even take one of them. She will use it as a remote control. She take the hair. She make it 12 knots. <laughs> she blow in it. And right away she control you honey buy me this one from amazon sure yeah go ahead uh, honey can you uh, buy change the car for me uh you don't have money it's okay you can buy it oh, okay i will buy it i will take a mortgage you're here brother you're here so if we follow muhammad we are going to be protected from the black magic but a second ago you were saying to me if we bring a cat the cat will not uh, will uh, disturb the house and will make a lot of a problem. Okay, and Muhammad was under black magic too. Looked like Muhammad could not protect himself, neither Allah. Nothing else. So, so, if we were to follow the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's sunnah and his way every morning and evening, we would be seeking the protection of Allah from the evil that is around us. What type of yeah, like, you know, have sex with the children. See, you know, follow the Prophet Muhammad's steps. Go to your to your own son's house and flirt with the wife. Yeah. Follow in the step of the Prophet. A woman walking in the street, you start uh, touching your penis, and then you go to your wife, you force her into to bed. Yeah. Follow in the Prophet Muhammad. You look at different women and you have uh, other women. Uh, uh, you know, you tell your friends that it's attack the woman so we can get the blondie girls. That is following the steps of the Prophet. A man, he can lie to his wife. The wife, she can lie to her husband. Eh, we follow in the steps of the Prophet. I mean, I don't know what to follow, what not to follow, brother. It's true. A, a lot of decency. Tell us more about following Muhammad. Of evil. Evil people, evil thoughts, the whispers of shaitan, whether it is magic that people try, jealousy that people might have, 
some the evil eye that is mentioned in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Sometimes you can actually affect your own self with evil eye. When is that is science? You affect yourself with evil. Now I know what this cat is doing. I was asking myself, trying to think it and take it up, take it down, take it left. I look in the dictionary to see, like, I look in Google, like, uh, cat glasses, why they wear glasses, what the color of the glasses mean. I was trying to study cats, like, you know, the evil eye. The evil eye. And this, and he just said, even your eye itself can hurt you. That's why I don't look at the mirror. Are you kidding me? Not because I'm scared to see how I look like. No, absolutely not. That is not the reason. Trust me, trust me. And this is why I don't open camera for you too. Because if my eyes look at you, huh? you look at my eyes, I can control you from far distance, all of you. I can do hepatize, what that? Hepat, hepatize, hepatize you? Hep, uh, you know, this is what happened when you teach in the Middle Eastern English. Hold on. Something like Okay, I will make you happy. Just make it simple, okay? So you, I look at you, like, you know, I look at you all. You look at the camera, you know, and you look at me. Especially the females. You know, the females, I will, I will like, control them. Some, they make baklava. Some, they make falafel. Some, they bring tea and coffee. Man, I will live like a king. After they finish it, I say to them, leave. I don't want to see you no more. You know, leave me alone. So, and the men, oh boy, the men is even better. The one who have a nice car, he give me your car. Sure, you, yeah. what are you talking of? You know, hepatize them, hepatize them. And you know, like, oh, I, I, there's a lot of tricks we can do. Unbelievable. Now I know, uh, hippo, 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 hippo what? There's no way it says hypno, hip, hypno, hypnotize, hypnotize, hypno. You see, I mean, this guy, and I was good with you. I, I know the word. Okay, guys, it's hypnotize. Okay, and by the way, hypnotize, uh, this one is coming for a reason. Uh, I, will, I will explain to you because most of you are not really educated. And uh, uh, since I have a friend like the cat, you know, hypno, ties like hip you know hip your hip hello and no and ties which mean we grab you from your hip and you cannot say no and we make ties unbelievable you know like where you can go we grab you from the hip you cannot use the word no when we command you and we make ties, which means wherever I go, you go with me. Whatever I say, you agree with me. No, no, it's only ties in hip. May Allah hip you. Anyway, we continue the video. <laughs> I know, I know, too much, too much. Too much logic will kill you, brother. Uh, 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 listen, uh, Mufti Mink, uh, hold on. I don't know what to say to you. Especially your microphone is red. Is that for a purpose or it was an incident or accident? Okay, continue. Is it when you are so self-conceited and impressed by yourself that you forget Allah? You forget to connect it to Allah. You have wealth, connect it to Allah. You have good looks, connect that to Allah. You have a happy situation, connect it to Allah. By saying what? By believing this is only from Allah. He can take it away now. Look how Mufti Mank, he got Muhammad busted. So if you do all those things, you are connected to Allah. That means Muhammad and that, and that means uh, black magic will not affect you. But Muhammad himself, he just, he made a video. He is speaking in the same video about a person controlling Muhammad by black magic. If you are connected to Allah, black magic cannot affect you. This is what he's saying. If you follow Muhammad and follow Allah and connect it to Allah, black magic cannot affect you. So how the black magic affected Muhammad? That means he is not connected to Allah and he is not following Allah. He is not even following himself. 
Do you see how stupid this religion is? Hold on, we have somebody trying to call us. <laughs> Maybe he's a Muslim. <laughs> we are calling him. <laughs> he is not answering. Answer, buddy. Okay. Um, he is not answering, so I'm going to hap happen happenize him. Hapo, happy uh, hapo. You know. Uh, yeah. Can we debate an agnostic, the guy who believes in superpower, whatever? No, my friend, <laughs> go worship your electricity. <laughs> He believe in power somewhere there, you know, power. Yeah, I believe there is a power. You know what? They are starting a new uh, uh, a station for energy in my area. You can go and worship it. Okay, let's call this guy. He is trying to call. Let us see. <laughs> if he is sincere. Hello? 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 Eh, Fakira. Fakira changing her voice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we thought we are done with you, Fakira. You are coming back? You, you miss me, don't you? <laughs> Fakira, she can't live without me. <laughs> <laughs> As you see, this is a very stupid religion, if we can call it even a religion. Fiction, superstition, shaitan, play with your anus, shaitan, play with your, you know, even, by the way, do you know why women, they have menstruation? Who knows, who knows? Why women have menstruation? The answer is very simple. Once women and men in the time of Adam brother they have a party together party together no way and then Allah he punished the women and he made them have menstruation uh, but there was men there why he did not give me administration too? Hmm? Oof. Brothers and sisters, I decide to open a club. It's called Blow the Knots. Let us drive the Muhammadan knots. You will find anyone who tie a knot and blow the knot, he is a musician. He do what? He blow the knot and he tie the knot. The Quran says that. Quran, this is Quran. Yeah. Yeah. No sound, no sound. Hold on, somebody blow and then, ah, somebody blow the knot of my microphone. <laughs> I was wondering why you don't have a sound. It's okay. It's okay. It was one of the knots, brother. One of the knots uh, moved. You know, somebody blew knot. One of you. I accuse one of you. You are naughty knot people. Naughty naughty. You are doing knot. Huh? You are blowing in the knot of my microphone speaker. May Allah not you. Okay, now you can hear it. Listen, listen. It is connected to protection against magic. Yeah. Read those verses, you will find anyone who ties knots and blows in them is considered a magician. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, Man sahara Allahu Akbar. Whoever 
casts a spell has engaged in association of partners with Allah. Is that included to angels? Because they are the one who taught the magic. <laughs> you know, in order to teach magic, you have to cast a spell to show people how it works. I mean, you see the stupidity. Allah, he sent two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut. And the one who do magic, he is now an, uh, like not a Muslim. So Allah is sending angels to teach people to leave Islam. Can you believe it? He is sending angels, not shaitan. I mean, find me anything in this stupid cult is not a stupid. It's not a total contradiction to each other. You see, if they are saying that the one, the one who opened the school is shaitan, I would say, okay, shaitan. But as you see, Allah has sent two angels, Harut and Marut. Harut wa Marut. Landed in Beirut. To to ta Beirut. What the heck? That's so deep. Tell us more, brother. Allah, you remove yourself from the fold for what? Don't do that and don't go to someone to do that. It has never brought about goodness. If there was any goodness no way. in all of that, the person doing it would have had the life of the king of kings. They themselves are poor. They have nothing. They don't even know what's coming or going in their own lives. They have health matters and problems just like you and I. But they are fooling us. And at times, yes, they do get involved in the dark side of things. We are believers. We are always with the nur of Allah. The nur of Allah. The nur of Allah. Okay, hold on. As long as those guys, they can't no benefit from it. Why? Allah, he opened the school to teach them. What is the benefit of making the wife and the husband fighting? The Muslim, they will say to you, it's a trial. Trial for whom? Are you stupid or what? That means you are shaitan. Same time, as long as those who do magician, they are magician, they cannot do any benefit for them, themselves. Then why do they make money from it? You never heard of people, they fool people, they take money from them, they get rich, you stupid? What do you mean they are poor? Are you stupid or what? They are not. Tell us more. Today's message is very strong. Allah will give you, continue to develop your relation with Allah. Hmm. Allah will propel you into a position he knows he wants you at. What is the position? To be in the bed of Muhammad? Or one of the Muslims, he will give you his six years old daughter in your bed? At the time that he wants you there. If it hasn't come, if it doesn't come, it's okay. We are still with Allah. It's okay. It come, doesn't come. It's okay with what with serve Allah. They never saw Allah. His, their prophet never saw Allah, never spoke to Allah. But they are, they are still with Allah. Do we have any Muhammadan here who want to be with Allah right now? Hey Muslims, we just heard that if you recite two verses from the chapter of the chair, no one can control you. I want to do an experiment. I will try to control you. I want to see if Allah can control you or not can protect you. What do you think? Muhammadan? Anyone? Who is a Muslim? I want to see if magic is true or not. And I want to see if Allah can protect you or not. What do you think? Huh? الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. Magic, my brothers and sisters, is a topic that everyone wants to listen to. 
and those who engage in black magic participate in it and those who are accused of it. All this makes up a very, very interesting topic. Allah addresses this matter in the Quran and we will never achieve contentment unless we speak about it and we take heed. Number one, to engage in magic is totally prohibited. To visit someone who is going to do the magic is actually losing your faith in Allah, is actually coming okay, out. Okay, 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 okay. Who is a Muslim will tell me then why Allah he sent a school, he sent his man angels. I go to visit the angels, I turn to be, I'm learning to be evil. Isn't this your stupid Quran? They fool those naive people, you know, speeches. Suddenly they are against magic. But as you see, the magic is coming from Allah. Who taught the angels magic? Now, we as a Christian, we don't believe in such a stupid thing. What magic? You know, in the Bible, they speak about the, uh, uh, the, 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 the people of the Pharaoh, uh, that his, his ma the, they, they saw that the magic of Moses overcome their magic because they could not understand that this is a real miracle. It's not a magic. We don't have magic. The Bible actually fought heavily, heavily punishment for anyone who tried to practice such a thing because it is just to fool people. It's not true. Nobody can really do magic. But the Muslims believe in it heavily. And in one hand, they say it's evil. In the other hand, it says that Allah is the one who sent it down. And he is the one who sent two angels. They landed in the Babylon Tower in Iraq, which is nothing but a legion. About two angels came down in the Babylon Tower. For this was the, the, the stairs to go to God. And by the way, the stupid Muhammad, he think that the Babylon Tower is exists in Egypt. If you remember, according to Muhammad, the Pharaoh, he asked his minister Haman, but Haman is in Iraq. In different time, not the same time, have nothing to do with the Pharaoh. So the, the Pharaoh, he ordered Haman to build uh, as you see in those chapters, chapter 28 and chapter 40 to build a very high tower so he can go and meet the God of Moses. So the stupid Muhammad don't even know what the Babylon is. He do not know that Haman was exist in different country. He thinks that the one who built the Babylon Tower is a pharaoh. He thinks the Babylon Tower is built in Egypt. Do you see it? And then we find that Allah himself is sending his angels landing in the Babylon Tower. It's in the front of your eyes. Do we have any Muhammadan have any comment? Why today we are not lucky? Where is the Muhammadan? I want to convert to Islam. You know why I want to convert to Islam? There is a serious reason. Imagine yourself. with a lot of women. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. And all those a lot of women, they want to have sex with you. That is death. You finish with the first woman, second woman, third woman, Fourth women. What the heck? No break in heaven. All don't stop. You cannot stop. No break. There's no break. You have to non-stop. Boom, boom. That is a cheating. Okay, we start all over.
you finish with the first woman. The second woman, still I feel fine. The third woman, I'm getting a little bit tired. The fourth. The fifth. The sixth. The seven. The eight. The ninth. The, the ten. The, the, the eleven. What number we stop? Uh, the twelve. Uh, the, the, the thirteen. Uh, fourteen. In fourteen of July, every year, Joe Biden offer you free visit to Mecca. Don't miss your ticket and vote Democrat. They will make you a rat, and they will make you hop a tatai hop a hop hop on hop on hop on hop. Hip, hip, hippie, hippie nice, hippie nice. End of commercial break. Women number 14. 15. 16. Please, Allah, please. Too much. 17. Then 18. No, please. 19 That's too much 20 21 22 23 24 25 In the 25th of July there is a special occasion it's called Happy birthday, Joe Biden. In that birthday, people who they are men, they take off their bra in the White House. Don't miss it. Go and get it. The end of commercial. Brother and sisters, I cannot explain to you how much it's fun. I cannot feel some certain parts in my body. I don't even know if they are there. Are they there? I'm not sure. Seventy-two women. Each woman she have seventy-two maid. Each maid she have seven seventy-two maid. Each 77 seven maid, they have 72 maid, and each one of them, she has 772 maids. Total is billions of women, and now you are going to sleep with them, and this is supposed to happen. I want to know when I'm going to eat the falafel. This is the only way to do heaven, to make heaven? Aren't you sick? And then the orgasm is 70 years. And then, by the way, should I be worrying about saying the prayer before intercourse or shaitan, he will round himself around my penis in the heaven too? Huh? Uh -huh. Conspiracy, conspiracy. You know, you go, you go to the heaven of uh, Allah. In the heaven of Allah, you go and you find Zakir Naik in the heaven. Now, Zakir Naik will be doing what? I will say to him, Assalamu alaikum, Zakir Naik. Good evening, Zakir Naik. Would Zakir Naik talk? Good evening, Zakir Naik. What the heck? Open your mouth now. You know, why you have the jalabi in your mouth? Good evening, Zakir Naik. You have nothing. What? Nothing. You are eating. You? Zakir Naik, he can do it? No way. Well, if Zakir Naik can do it, I think I can. <laughs> Every Mohammedan, he will be holding his uh, uh, long dress between his teeth. So you say to them, Assalamu Alaikum, nobody can answer. Everybody is ifing everybody. This is the religion of Allah. Isn't it beautiful? 
Isn't this the dream of every one of you? Hmm? This is why Muhammad, he promised the Muslims that you will have a penis will never go limp. He, you know, this man, he thought about everything. Your penis will never go limp. Muhammad is so smart. He said to himself, I promised him a lot of effing. But the man, he cannot do this often all. I have to give them additional support. Don't worry. Your penis will never go limp. Look at this. There is no one whom all Allah admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him to 72 wives from the twos from the Huris and 70 from inheritance from hellfire. By the way, those are women from hellfire. They are expert in sex. This is why they are coming from hellfire. And Muhammad, he described what kind of women they are. They have desirable front passages. Desirable what? Front passages? What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know if I'm getting closer or not. Let us see first how many of you are in good age to watch those things. Brother, you go to heaven and you have women there. They have the biggest passages, front desirable front passages. What if I like them small? <laughs> This is whom? The first one, the second one, the third. Those the Abdul. Allah will bring you women coming from hell. Inherited your inheritance from hell. Brother, they have a special description. Desirable front passages. That not only they have a front passages, they are desirable, desirable. Not to mention their private part, but here we are trying to be polite and not to show you pictures. Hmm? Desirable front passages. This is a prophet of God. This is a prophet of God. He is teaching us about God. And this God, he will give us a lot of women, which we never met before, which is nice about it, you know, like a blind date. <laughs> you know, they call it a blind date. Why? Because they are Muslims. This is blind date. You women you know, coming from the hooker street from uh, from uh, Andrew Tates. Uh, now I know why his name is Andrew Tates. So Andrew, uh, no, the connection. Andrew Tates he is trying to make a contract with Allah. He will send it from hell. Like you have all the names of those girls that work for him. You know he's a, he's a hooker too. He's a pimp. So he will contract him. He says, give me the names. We send them to the Muslims. Uh, but please, we want some ones. The ones who have a desirable front passages. This is a religion of Allah. Who of you don't like it? Do you even dare to say, I don't like it? Hmm? Let us be honest here. Desirable front passages is the best. And forget about the rest. How many of you dream to go to the heaven now of Allah? Hmm? What the heck is that? You know, I searched for cartoon, desirable friend passages, and I'm getting a lot of scary pictures. Oh, there's somebody trying to compete with me with a drawing. That's not nice. Okay, you know, I can I can draw them better than those. Anyway, let us take this picture off because many of you are uh, not, uh, you know, coming from good family. Okay. Let us see how many people here they are not coming from good family. 
Okay, I will start counting the name. The one his name I the one I say his name. Uh, you say I'm here. Okay. <laughs> How many of you? Okay, let's let us put them in the screen. Hold on. You know we are just having fun with this stupid religion. You guys, I'm going to send you to heaven. All right. Okay. Uh, Rachel, uh, Rachel is a girl. We cannot send you to hell. What you, I mean, to heaven. What you would do there? We, we have no need for you. We have women coming from hell. What are, hey, Rachel, just leave. Give me a break. Christian Root, she is a girl too. I mean, where is the guys? Peter two, Peter two, hey Peter two. We cannot send Peter one. We send Peter two, Peter two. Uh, even Herla, Haverla. Okay, even her. Eddie, Eddie, you go to heaven too. Women are waiting for you, brother. Uh, what his name? Karma, Karma Katina. I mean, your name is it's like a train. How in the world? Okay, you know what? I'm not going to send you to heaven. What? Uh, karma, 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 Camera, Kameri Katiun. Okay, I will go to heaven. You know what? As long as I was able to read your name, it's still readable. Uh, I am, uh, uh, I am the game. I mean, where are those names coming from? Okay, you go to heaven too. I don't, I don't care. Hiding Marvel, you go to heaven. Uh, 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 Trek, Trek. Sorry, my, my, you know, you know what? You are laughing too much. I don't think you fit there. In heaven, there's nobody is a crying and nobody is laughing. Only if in. Sorry, I cannot take you there. So you are cursed now. Uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, I will take you to heaven. Just jump in the truck in the bay. Uh, elegance with the camel, brother. You are ready for it, don't you know it? I mean, in the heaven, it's all green, so your camel can eat a lot of grass. You come in, brother. Arabian Empress, no, we cannot take you, sorry. Good luck. Uh, uh, Nita, uh, no, uh, no way. Uh, Coco, co what? Coca, Coca Cola? Coca Cola, ho, ho, pepinos. Is that a name? Or this is like the name of your country, or like the, this is the, the whole names of your land, man. How in the world I can read your name? I mean, Allah Himself. By the time He finished reading your name, he would, the heaven will be closed. We're good, Mister Age, Mister Age. If you are old, what I will do with you in heaven? You don't go, man. Just stay here. Come on, this is heaven for busy young men. Uh, uh, who, who else? Me, me. Gloom, man. Gloom. The Quran speak about you. He says, the day Allah will make your face white and gloom. You are there. Frank, uh, Frank Saradik, you need Vegas? Okay, well, go to Vegas. I will not take you to Allah then. <laughs> you are a loser. The King Eternal. Okay, you know, guys, uh, you know what? All of you, that's it. All of you jump in the truck. I mean, it's easier than reading all your names. Just forget, man. I mean, this is endless. Unbelievable. And I'm going to... Uh, uh, I cannot send Alfred to heaven because I need him here. You go, guys. You go. Okay, Alfred, you stay. We don't, you know, where are you going, man? <laughs> now I know you are married. Your wife, she will kill me. You know. Actually, once uh, I received a text message from a, a Christian lady, and she said, "Are you happy? Because if you we are going to get divorced." I said, "Who is talking?" Because I know the guy. You know. Uh, she said, "I'm his wife." You know, you're my husband, he don't even sit with us. He keep listening to you. Yeah, so I, I told the guy, I used to be in Paltok at that time. I told him, don't come to my room. I will give you only two hours a day. If you stay more than two hours, I will block you. I will bounce you. Yeah, so Alfred, you stay, man. No luck. Anyway, we go back. Here you notice how the prophet is, he really, he is a genius. He... He knew what is the next question. Okay, we are going to have sex with a lot of women, at least 72. 72 is the lowest reward. And each of the 72 have 772. So we are talking about billions, if not, you know, trillions. So Muhammad, he had to find a solution. He said, and the male member that will never come becomes a flaccid. Imagine after all those promises, you go to heaven and you're what? Like the guys would come out of and the virgin she would say to you, What the heck is that, man? What are you doing? Where is that? Why is not uh... she tried to sing the anthem for it? It doesn't stand up. 
She play music for it. It doesn't stand up. What the heck? What people do with you now? You know? So Muhammad here, you know, he thought about it. So he promised you that your penis will never go uh, flaccid. You know? Yeah. Actually, in Arabic, it says, ذكرون لا ينثني will not bend. Bend, you know? You don't want to have your penis bending like, you know, and his head coming down with shame. Ashamed of itself. You want your penis to be proud. That boing. You know, like in front of your wives in heaven, a like point, 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 like, and then they will line up and they will go crazy for you. Like, wow, this husband is the best. Actually, not only that, uh, uh, Muhammad, he said that women in heaven, they will sing for you and they will say you are the best between all men. The best between all men. But those women, they never have sex with any man except this man. So how they knew that he is the best of all men in bed? I mean, they are virgins, supposedly. Imagine your wife, she is a virgin, and she said to you, you are the best man in effing. Obviously, she is not a virgin then. Actually, this is what uh, Aisha, she said. She said, who of you have control over his penises like Muhammad? How oh, Aisha, she knew. Hmm? If Aisha, she married Muhammad when she was a kid, how she knew that Muhammad had the best control of his, over his penis? Look at this. The Messenger of Allah. Guys, if you are under the age of six years, leave. It's getting hot. The Messenger of Allah used to kiss me while observing his fasting. Look, Muhammad is fasting now. See, Muhammad is fasting, there is no water. What he do? He suck the tongue of Aisha. He suck her tongue, her tongue. The hadith says actually he suck her tongue, different hadith. And he is fasting now. Look, he's fasting for Allah. He has no time for fun. No. Who of you among you can control his penises, not his desire? This is a far translation. It says, Ya Maliku Irabah. Who of you can control his penis like him? And here we need to ask ourselves, how a person is controlling his penis and now supposedly he is fasting but he cannot wait until afternoon so he can kiss his wife. Is that a sign of somebody controlling himself? A lot of control. Anyway, I think we have a good time together today. And I'm glad I send you all to heaven. So tomorrow when I go live, I will not be here. You will not be here, all of you. All the men, they will be in heaven. And they will send us like some selfie with all those versions. You know, don't send naked one. Just send a selfie in the top, top. You know, not topless, top. Just like your head and their head. Don't send me a full picture of you from heaven of Allah, naked, having boom, boom. Okay? Don't be a, a pervert. You know, just enjoy it there. Enjoy it, brother. Yeah. So uh, this is why it's good to believe in Allah because he's a pimp. His religion is pimpy, full of fiction and stupidity. And the conclusion of the night today, Shaitan, he can if your wife. Shaitan, he can if you. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention to you that Shaitan, he can if you. Why a Muslim man should not sleep and on his belly? Anyone knows? Hmm? Why? Because if you sleep in your belly, uh, you are from people of fire. Why? Because you are tempting shaitan. And Allah, he hate the one who sleep in his belly. Shaitan, he will come and he will F you. I did not say it. Muhammad said it. Read it. This is the laying down which Allah he hate. In different hadith, Muhammad he said, and this is Sahih, as you see. This is the way people of hellfire they lay down. People of hellfire, 
they lay down. The reason for that, because when you lay down shaitan, he will do boom, boom to you. And this is proven to be true. A lot of Muslims, they have experience with it. Yasir Qadi, ask Yasir Qadi. Ask Mimi Hijab, ask Ali Dawa. Already he speaks like a girl. All of those things, my friends, proving to be true. So I advise you, if you sleep in your belly, you better protect your willy. It's dangerous. All right? Allah, he hate the one who sleep in his belly. Okay, Allah, but if shaitan, I mean, okay, if you sleep in your belly, shaitan will do you. But what about when you are standing? Hmm? What about when you are sitting? Like you don't see shaitan, he can sit on the chair before you. You sit in the top of him. I mean, what we can do now? You go in the bathroom, shaitan is go inside your anus. You sleep in your belly, shaitan is if in you. You sleep in your back, shaitan in your nose, in your toes, in your mouth, in your nose. I mean, what we will do? Our life is miserable as Muslims. I'm not going to stay longer, otherwise I will remember something new every second before I go. And then we will stay here. My short video will become, uh, it's two hours, how long now, three hours? Yeah, this is an acceptable short video. All right, guys, I want to say thank you all for being here. I hope you guys you have a good time. Feel free to download my videos. And if you are a Mohammedan, tell your friends, tell your sheikhs, if they're there, call me. Do you know how many Muslims live in Islam watching my videos around the world? You know, some people think that nobody is watching my videos. In fact, I don't have my videos here, as you know. I, I, I always I remove them. My videos is all over the internet. And Muslims are watching everywhere, especially in Islamic countries. And thanks the Lord, we thank the Lord that we have a great impact in the Muslim society. Ah, I remember now, the United Nations under the request of the Muslim countries, they asked United Nations to do something to stop the Islamophobia. Hey, Saudi Arabia, when you will stop your phobia against Christianity and open churches? When you Muslim, you will stop your phobia and let the Christians preach the gospel? When you will stop your phobia against the Hindus and have a temple of the Hindus in the Emirates, in Bahrain, in Qatar, in Saudi Arabia, in Iraq, in Egypt, in Syria? When you will stop your fear phobia against the atheists so they can say we are atheists? The Muslims, they speak about phobia who have a phobia from pork, have phobia from music, they have a phobia from a lizard, they have a phobia from, a, from, from mice, you have a phobia from, from everything, cat, dogs, everything. And they talk about phobia when this is the cult of the phobia. If you are a Muslim, you are a phobic. As you see, shaitan, he if you, he if your wife, shaitan is in the cat, shaitan is in the dog, so someone blow in the nut for you, somebody take your hair, you are under black magic, shaitan, he made a belly bomb to you by he spit at your belly bomb, shaitan, he piss in your ears, shaitan, he do, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, like uh, steal your food from the refrigerator, shaitan, he set fire in your wife's pubic area. I mean, what is left in your life? Muhammad, he flood them with those stupid stories so they don't use their brain. There's two kinds of terror. There's a terror of violence and there's a terror of belief. So Muhammad, he terrified those Muslims. So don't worry, will ask questions. So they will be worried about anything. They will spend their day just doing rituals and killing. So they will not think how stupid Islam is. Even when they fight shaitan, they go throw rocks at shaitan, as if shaitan is there. Don't you just say shaitan is whispering to you? How shaitan is whispering to you and he's in Mecca? How shaitan have a house in the same town with Allah? I mean, is it a coincidence that Allah have a house in Mecca and shaitan have a house in Mecca? How come they are neighbors? Garbage in, garbage out, my friends. This is why we as a Christians, we have the truth, and the truth is the Messiah. The truth is nothing but the Messiah. 
I cannot even compare between the Messiah and the faith and the stupidity of Muhammad because that will be an insult to such a holy name. But we are not here to compare between him and our Lord. We are here to show you how evil the devil and how stupid a human being, how foolish he is to the point he believes in such a garbage. And I say to you at the end, if a foolish man like Muhammad can fool you, how stupid are you? How donkey are you? If you believe in all those fiction and stupid stories, you have to be a person who is suffering from mental illness. The Messiah, he ordered us to read the books, not to be ignorant. He said, read the books, search them, find them, and you will find the truth, and the truth will set you free. And I am the truth. I am the way. I am the life. I am the resurrection. I am God's son. I am who I am. I am the Messiah. In his name, we have victory. In his name, we learn. And in his name, we will be always winners with the true God, with the true word, with the true holiness, for his kingdom is a kingdom of holiness. His word is word of holiness. His act is holiness. And Jesus not only born as holy, but he is. Before he was born, he was. He said to the Jews, before Abraham I am. I am before Abraham. I am from above, you are from below. So how in the world do you want to follow someone so much from below and leave the one who is above right now? Even in the book of the devil Muhammad, the Messiah is right now in heaven. My father, once he said to a Muslim who asked him to convert to Islam, he said to him, where is your prophet? He said, he's dead. He said, where is my Jesus? He said, he's alive. So my father, he said to him politely, why I want to follow someone dead and leave someone is alive. Only foolish people, they follow dead ones. The Messiah, he said, let the dead bury the dead. A dead man cannot save you. The living Messiah, my friend, who overcome death by death, no grave can hold him and no enemy can take him down and no death can destroy him he overcome death by death and now he is in heaven and he is coming with the glory of his angels and then all of those who rejected him they will pay a very high price it doesn't matter if you are a christian a muslim a hindu a buddha an atheist a democrat a republican whatever stupid party you belong to all of you you will be judged by the messiah and the messiah he will not take you by your name he said from their fruits you shall know them so you better know what your fruit is muslims you better know your fruits christians from your fruits not from a cross you are wearing not from a book you are holding not from a name you call yourself with the fruit of the christians is the proof of them being a christians and the fruit of the christians is the one who stand against evil like joe biden like muhammad like every hypocrite every politically correct, everyone trying to deceive your children, everyone trying to manipulate them, everyone who tried to bring satanic idea to community. We need to stand up and say the truth. Cowards, they don't count. They don't count to their wives, to their children, to their society, and nobody remember them. Only brave people, they will be remembered. We call them heroes. Try to be one. God is good. So is Jesus. See you soon.